Welcome to Allowed to Talk. And today we're going to continue talking about the 32 things that you can do for yourself. And number 15 is stay focused. If you want a, a job or a certain education, stay focused. Study in school and then get that um, degree that you want, whatever you want to do that you feel you would love to do. Or if you go to a college for a trade or a school for a trade that you want to do, hairdresser, um, technician of some kind, a radiology technician, that would be college, of course, but a trade school or a phlebotomist, someone who draws blood. Just stay focused. Sometimes when you are turned down and it's a broken road, it could lead to the perfect road that you should be on. Always stay focused. That's something you can do for yourself. And now I don't mean don't ever sleep or don't take a break or just slow down and rest. But stay focused always on what you want for your future and what you want to do. And when you're, while you're staying focused, remember, if something is too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. If someone that you're dating or friends with, or maybe they want to start a business with you after you graduate from college or get through your schooling and trade school or whatever you're going to do, they just seem uh, too enthused and they seem to be all in on what you want to do and know everything about you and even... They emulate you. They seem just like you. If it's too good to be true, run. Because it probably is too good to be true. And you could suffer for a long time being abused by someone like that who would love bomb you. And then after a while, they would gaslight you. And you could go through a lot of sorrow and hurt. So stay focused. I can't say it anymore. Number 15 of the 32 things you can do for yourself is stay focused. When I was a young girl and I um, graduated from high school and then I tried to get jobs with uh, different companies and I finally got a good job as a key punch operator, which is the way we used to do, and that's giving my age away again, <laughs> a key punch operator when we key punch cards to run through the 1005 Univac, which is one of the first computers before they even had reels that they hung on the uh, one uh, IBM computer then that was like tapes you would hang. That's where I started one of my first great jobs and I was making good money. And I was trying to stay focused and I cashed my check and I got my cash in my purse and I came home, my mom was there and my one sister and her husband and his brother that was visiting from another state. We were living in Pennsylvania. But I mentioned that I cashed my check. And I went into my bedroom for the evening and put my purse on the floor. And my niece was staying with me at the time. We had a big double bed we shared. And that night, I was staying focused. The night before, we saw a mouse running around in our room. So as me being afraid of the dark, for one, but I slept in the dark because my niece didn't like a nightlight on, I had a flashlight with me under my bed pillow and staying focused for if a mouse came in. We also had a dog named Husky that we usually kept outside at the time back then when I was a 19, 20-year-old young girl working, making pretty good money. And... I had this flashlight under my pillow, so I heard a noise like a dog panning and crawling, and I thought, well, I think Husky's outside, but it could be him. When I heard our door slowly open, our bedroom door, I turned the flashlight on and shone it right in my brother-in-law's brother's face, and he was crawling towards my purse, and he wanted to steal my cash. And when he saw the flashlight flash in his eyes, he just backed out. He was on all fours, down on his um, hands and knees, like a doll crawling. He backed out, shut the door, and left. And I was terrified. I woke Donna up. We turned on the light, and my niece Donna, and uh, he was gone. And I didn't wake anybody up because it was like probably one or two in the morning. Next morning, I told my sister and my mom, and they said, well, things like that happened. They didn't go and yell at him or anything. Yeah, he was told about it. But we were just told, especially me, that, hey, he didn't take your money. 
and he has an alcoholic problem. He likes to drink. So um, I felt worthless and like nobody so many times in my family, but oh, well, your money's still there. Anyway, um, I always come up smelling like a rose when I fall in a bucket of dung. That's what they say. Anyway, what this... Um, Number 15 out of 32 things to do for yourself is stay focused and defend yourself. I was always told to be seen and not heard. And at age 19, 20, I was still in that state of mind that I had to conform to whatever the adults in my family said. And at that time, I could have gotten an apartment because I was making pretty good money. But I ended up, I don't know if that was before or after I moved to another state to try to get a, a better job. I think that was after I moved back home. But. All I can say is stay focused, and I didn't even mention defend yourself in the 32 things, but it probably comes in one of the other statements that I have for the 32 things to do for yourself. So stay focused, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.